Hey, good morning. I'm back and I'm going to look briefly at Elastinen. If you don't know who he is, don't worry. I'll give you just a brief scenario and show you a few pictures because, yeah, he sang at church. Just unbelievable. Plus, I'm going to look at Ceres, hmm, what that means. So, I noticed in the paper that he was singing at church. Why is a celebrity or a secular artist singing at church? And yes, they were charging a fee of $30 to go to see him sing. It's so sad what I'm seeing. And if I've never covered or if you're new to this channel, this is what the church looks like nowadays in Tikurila. Yeah, you can clearly see where they found that symbolism from. But here you have it. They wanted a walk-in therapy. Activities will be carried out through the Tikurila parish. Um, since mental health services are, you know, overwhelmed, crowded, they wanted a low threshold. They use that term a lot here in Finland. A walk-in therapy to provide help and support to young people in need. Okay, in a sense, a little bit of good idea, but really, truly in the wrong way. Now, they mentioned that he sang with cheek. Oh, yes, here they have a picture of them. They really do think they're kings or little gods, but anyway. And that he was going to be with these two characters here. If I found their names correctly, I have no idea who they are. But Petteri Sariolan and Esa Makunen. Okay, I don't know. I've never heard of them in my life. So I'm going to keep this really short and my computer's acting up. And I don't know their hearts. Absolutely not. Only God does. Only God sees who they truly are. But it clearly says in the word, don't be conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good. Do not love the world or the things in the world or the Father is not in you. We know exactly what the word of God says. So why they're bringing in secular artists, you know why. They want to change the way the church is. So anyway, Elastinen, of course, he's the CEO also and founder of this record company, Rahina. Okay, now what I found on Facebook, sure, you can find this and you can find, well, this is on his site, but you can find in Facebook the pictures. Oh my goodness, clearly the A and the S right there and showing you exactly who they are. I don't I don't think I need to say and just right here the pictures alone says it all yeah we know that how deep the roots go and where they go right just unbelievable the pillars but this one here as well this one the Bailey means mirror and it's already mirroring itself so there's your as above so below and then down lower you see the E and the A there again is the 15 and the I one eye symbolism and then the word nakerala means like uh, your sight. That already equals to 12, 39, and of course you guessed it, 33. <laughs> yeah, and here it's clear as day. I don't think I need to say anything more. They think they're prophets in every tier, but the symbol above that, they're using it. You see it, and you see it on their jackets. Enough said. Enough said. We know exactly who they worship. They show it everywhere. And of course, he's in commercials with Pepsodent. So already you know who he's agreeing to. Not only the records company, the symbols, but the affiliations, right? And when you look at Kirko and Kaupunki, which is church and city in their Facebook pages, just this is not at all my God. You can see, oh my goodness, you can see all the symbolism. I don't even have to share. I mean, I'll, I'll highlight right over here, just right here, and the hand in the jacket. I mean, f clear Freemason symbolism. And the mouth covered by what it says, give me a tomorrow. Oh my just get out of the church right now is all I can say. These are all from their website, by the way. All. <laughs> from Facebook. And then this one here, the Lutheran Church. I mean, we already know they're united with the Vatican. We know that. But this picture alone says it all. Five steps. <laughs> iPhone. And the DNA. The hybrid. The Ankh in there. Just un unreal what you're seeing. 
And I wanted to look at the symbolism. Someone mentioned it. I don't know if I found the right one or not, but it's the Ceres. It kind of looks like an Ankh. But when you look at what this means and when they celebrate it, April 19th, interesting, the Ceres, child of Ops and Saturn, <laughs> just bizarre. But this is all about their Roman goddesses, and it means agriculture. And so much more. I'm probably going to forget something I was supposed to say in here, but it's a counterpart of Persephone. (laughs) Wow. And when I look at other symbolism of this, I mean, it looks just like, yeah, the shrine, the Shriners. Yeah, right? And you will know them by their fruit, and that's all I can say. And there, they've taken, of course, they use all the names in everything that they do. And there is the size, of course. They, that's, of course, what they're going to show us, right? The globe. Yeah. But you can see all their monuments of this in Budapest, St. Petersburg, Ukraine. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. But I'll be adding some links in the community page. And I'll be adding those pictures on the days that I don't have a video, just so you have an idea of what I'm seeing and what I'm sharing. Otherwise, I'll have my other links on my main video, plus adding to the bit shoot, which is you have to write out the word seven. All right. God bless you guys. That's a take. Plus I'll try to have one more in a bit. So God bless you guys. Have a great day.